Resident Evil Retribution is the fifth movie in the Resident Evil franchise. It's once again written and directed by Paul W.S. Anderson. And in this movie, Alice awakens in the Umbrella Base where she is interrogated by Jill Valentine. During a power fail orchestrated by Ada Wong, Alice escapes from her cell and encounters her. Wong explains that Wesker plan plans to aid Alice's escape and battle the base supercomputer with Red Queen. Red Queen. In order to save what's left of mankind, Wesker has organized a team of freelance operators to infiltrate the base and help Alice and Ada escape. Including Leon S. Kennedy, Baron Burton, Barry Burton, and Luther West. Along the way, they Alice finds a clone of a girl named Becky. They also face clone versions of Carlos, Olivera, Juan, and Rain Ocampo, who are all in the direction of Valentine. After Alice meets up with the rescue team, Valentine's soldiers catch up to them, resulting in the shootout that kills Burton, Olivia, and Juan. And so they have to try and stop it. This movie, Resident Evil Retribution, this movie, this is the weaker one, but I do like this movie. Now, I do like the idea, the influences that this movie had from the old video game with a parasite called Lost Plagueis. Um, to, that it plays in the part of the film and allows the undead to run around, ride motorcycles, shoot machine guns. Also, other inspirations from the games and the makeup on the zombies they do look realistic. They and the fight sequences are influenced by Asian cinema, and so yeah, that's pretty cool. You do get the same cast here. Um. Mila Jovovich is Alice. Sienna Guillory is Jill Valentine. Boris Kojo is Luther West. Sean Roberts, Albert Colin Selma is one. Michelle Rodriguez is Rain. Oded Fair is Carlos Oliveira. There are two versions of this movie one evil, one good. You also got Alawan, played by Lean Bean Bean, who is. She looks exactly like how. Ada Wong looks in the video game. Jo Johan Herb, who's played by Leon S. Kennedy. Mm -hmm. Leon S. Kennedy plays Johan Herb. Barry Burton as Kevin Durant. But Ali Larder, Wentworth Miller, and Chris Redfield, and Spencer Lockie. No, Wentworth Miller, Al Lee Larder, and Spencer Lockie do not return, and they presume to have died in the attack or held captive by Umbra. But there's a new character played by Ari en Engineer, and the action sequences in this movie are pretty cool. I do like the action. The music is pretty decent, um, but there are extreme amounts of problems. This movie it focuses on more the action than just um, the story. There, there's barely any character development for some of these characters. Most of the acting is pretty bad. Mila Jovovich, she's she's all right in this movie. She's okay. The fight choreography is also nice too. I do, and this movie was released in 3D. I didn't see this movie in 3D, but but there are still some parts of this movie. I like the costume design. Some of the stuff in this movie is pretty terrible. So, and most of the other stuff is just pretty disorienting, okay? Pretty disorienting. Um, it's just like, wow. But, um,
we'll see what happens. And the ending of this movie is just like, whatever. And most of the stuff in this movie is terrible. Some of the stuff in here I don't like. The movie is a little bit too quick. And some of the stuff, there's barely any um thing that's going on for the characters. All they do is just run around and fight, run around and fight, run around and fight. But I don't hate... Resident Evil Retribution, I still like it, but it just got a lot of issues. But, I am going to give this movie a middle badly. Because I haven't been using some of my other ratings. In a long time. So, let me know what you guys think of Resident Evil Retribution and... Stay tuned next week for my review of Resident Evil 6, the final chapter. And yes, I do mean it. It is the last movie. As far as I know, they're not making another one, so what are you going to do? Bye.